for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. I pray that you will not hear the voice of Bisola Whitlin, but that you will hear the voice of God. For the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Proverbs chapter 4 Young men, listen to me as you would to your father. Listen and grow wise, for I speak the truth. Don't turn away, for I too was once a son, tenderly loved by my mother as an only child and the companion of my father. He told me never to forget his words. If you follow them, he said, you will have a long and happy life. Learn to be wise, he said, and develop good judgment and common sense. I cannot overemphasize this point. Cling to wisdom. She will protect you. Love her. She will guard you. Getting wisdom is the most important thing you can do, and with your wisdom, develop common sense and good judgment. If you exalt wisdom, she will exalt you. Hold her fast, and she will lead you to great honor. She will place a beautiful crown upon your head. My son, listen to me and do as I say, and you will have a long, good life. I would have you learn this great fact, that a life of doing right is the wisest life there is. If you live that kind of life, you will not limp or stumble as you run. Carry out my instructions. Don't forget them, for they will lead you to real living. Don't do as the wicked do. Avoid their haunts. Turn away and go somewhere else. For evil men can't sleep until they have done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest unless they cause someone to stumble and fall. They eat and drink wickedness and violence, but the good man, but the good man walks along in the ever-brightening light of God's favor. The dawn gives way to morning splendor, while the evil man groups and stumbles in the dark. Listen, son of mine, to what I say. Listen carefully. Keep these thoughts ever in your mind. Let them penetrate deep within your heart, for they will mean real life for you and radiant health. Above all else, Guard your affections, for they influence everything in your life. Spawn the careless kiss of a prostitute. Stay far from her. Look straight ahead. Don't ever turn your head to look. Watch your step. Stick to the path and be safe. Don't sidetrack. Pull back your foot from danger. Proverbs chapter 5 Listen to me, my son. I know what I am saying. Listen, watch yourself, lest you be indiscreet and betray some vital information. For the lips of a prostitute are sweet as honey, and smooth flattery is a stock in trade. But afterwards, only a bitter conscience is left to you, sharp as a double-edged sword. She leads you down to death and hell, for she does not know the path to life. She staggers down a crooked trail and doesn't even realize where it leads. Young men, listen to me and never forget what I'm about to say. Run from her. Don't go near her house, lest you fall to a temptation and lose your honor, and give the remainder of your life to the cruel and merciless, lest strangers obtain your wealth and you become a slave of foreigners. Least afterwards, you groan in anguish and in shame when syphilis consumes your body. And you say, Oh, if only I had listened. If only I had not demanded my own way. Oh, why wouldn't I take advice? Why was I so stupid? For now, I must face public disgrace. Drink from your own well, my son. Be faithful and true to your wife. Why should you beget children with the woman of the streets? Why share your children with those outside your home? Be happy. Yes, rejoice in the wife of your youth. Let her breasts and tender embrace satisfy you. Let her love alone fill you with delight. Why delight yourself with prostitutes, embracing what isn't yours? For God is closely watching you, and he weighs carefully everything you do. The wicked man is doomed by his own sins. They are ropes that catch and hold him. He shall die because he will not listen to the truth. 
he has let himself be led away into incredible folly. Proverbs chapter 6 Son, if you endorse a note for someone you hardly know, guaranteeing his debt, you are in serious trouble. You may have trapped yourself by your agreement. Quick, get out of it if you possibly can. Swallow your pride. Don't let embarrassment stand in the way. Go and beg to have your name erased. Don't put it off. Do it now. Don't rest until you do. If you can get out of this trap, if you can get out of this trap, you have saved yourself like a deer that escapes from a hunter or a bird from the net. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy fellow. Learn from their ways and be wise. For though they have no king to make them work, yet, yet, they labor all summer, gathering food for the winter. But you, all you do is sleep. When will you wake up? Let me sleep a little longer. Sure, just a little more. And as you sleep, poverty creeps upon you like a rubber and destroys you. Want attacks you in full armor. Let me describe for you a worthless and a wicked man. First, he is a constant liar. He signals his true intention to his friends with his eyes, with eyes and feet and fingers. He is always thinking up new schemes to swindle people. He stirs up trouble everywhere. But he will be destroyed suddenly, broken beyond hope of healing. For there are six things the Lord hates. No, no, seven. Haughtiness, lying, murdering, plotting evil, eagerness to do wrong, a false witness, sowing discord among brothers. Young man, obey your father and your mother. Take to heart all of their advice. Keep in mind everything they tell you. Every day long and all night long, their counsel will lead you and save you from harm. When you wake up in the morning, let their instructions guide you into the new day. For their advice is a beam of light, directed into the dark corners of your mind to warn you of danger and to give you a good life. Their counsel will keep you far away from prostitutes, with all their flatteries and unfaithful wives of other men. Don't lust for their beauty. Don't let their coyness seduce you. For a prostitute will bring a man to poverty, and an adulteress, and an adulteress may cost him his very life. Can a man hold fire against his chest and not be burned? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So it is with the man who commits adultery with another man's wife. He shall not go unpunished for this sin. Excuses might even be found for a thief if he steals when he's starving. But even so, he is fined seven times as much as he stole, though it may mean selling everything in his house to pay it back. But the man who commits adultery is an utter fool, for he destroys his own soul. Wounds and constant disgrace are his lot, for the woman's husband will be furious in his jealousy, and he will have no mercy on you in his day of vengeance. You won't be able to buy him off, no matter what you offer.